The details in tonight's crime alert just flat out disturbing. Police rescue a mother and her two year old child from a man they say broke into their Maryville apartment, sexually assaulted the mom, all while her toddler was in the same room. ABC 15's Kim Tobin joining us live from the Fourth Avenue jail. And Kim, police say this man admitted to this crime. Well, Faye, according to court documents here, the guy was really caught red handed right in the middle of it. He then tried to tell a bunch of lies, but then admitted to breaking into this apartment, saying that he was having struggles in his personal life and wanted to find a place to sleep and to be cared for. This morning, maybe. May 1st, 94. Handcuffed and in jail stripes, police say Bismo Emeti broke into an apartment near Indian School and 27th Avenue. According to court documents, the woman inside was on the phone with her friend at the time. Her friend called 911 as she grabbed her two-year-old son and hid in the closet. Police say Emeti found them, pulled the woman out, and sexually assaulted her, claiming if she didn't do what he said, there were other people outside her apartment who would come in. Two counts of sexual assault. Those are each class two felonies, two counts of kidnapping, also class two felonies. When police forced their way inside, they say Ahmedi grabbed the victim's toddler and hid in her closet. Ahmedi claimed he was the boy's father, even the woman's boyfriend, before finally admitting none of it was true. In court, he tried talking to the judge about his case. I can only discuss about what happened on the and next... you shouldn't discuss with me about what allegedly happened. Okay. You have a lawyer because you're being recorded. Ahmedi told police he didn't feel what occurred was rape, but admitted the victim was probably scared and did not want to have sex with him. So it turns out that the victim actually recognized this suspect as a man she had seen walking around in her apartment complex before. And due to the violent nature of these crimes, Amedi is going to be held here at the 4th Avenue jail with no bond. Reporting in downtown Phoenix, Kim Tobin, ABC 15, Arizona. Going from bad to 